So we continue exploring CompUI and in this video we're going to look on a Flux. Well, Flux model was developed by Black Forest Lab, the people who originally worked with the creating stable diffusion after they gone some developers went on their own and created Flux. Flux, it is not copy of stable diffusion, it's we can say more evolution of code that in stable diffusion with some um, quite a bit good improvements. It is also differently how it work. Probably one of most common um, different in this it's how work with the prompt. They're utilizing rotary position embedding, which is in simple way we can say when you put a text prompts inside the models like stable diffusion example the clip taking and the going set by the weight in some cases feel more like programming language with the uh, rotary position embedding it is um the techniques that use a transformation model to equating the positions in circular so it's almost you have a relationship between all um text prompt it's meaning it's more natural language you can use it it can also identify some weight that not necessarily in the beginning of the prompt mostly like in the end and everything because it's utilized interesting and different approach how it's performed because of that it can work better beside that the models usually they're much larger size and as a result they also produce better quality they're very good on photorealistic to the point i will say in some cases even better than mid journey and i'm going to run specific tests in another video where we're going side by side mid journey and the flux newest flux pro and we'll see how well they are stay side by side but generally even from example here inside and from my own experience they're actually real real good um, current release of Stable Diffusion 3.5 that we will showing in another video. It come very close together, but again, flags. It is a very powerful and very realistic model can use it. But you know, with all this good stuff, it's come something price because you always need pay with something and a price usually to use this in this case it's a large size of the model and it's a very long time initial preload for example right here i using smaller model not even a bigger model 16 i used eight model and it took me about 45 minutes just to load it this model on my computer preloaded all of this well not just one because you will see it's having three different blocks we need preloaded but it took about 45 minutes for me to load it those ones when i loaded full model it take quite a bit longer about hour to load and i'm running on rtx um 3 3090 so it's with a 24 gigabyte of vram so i have it some room to run if you have it smaller you can install it well you know what let's look how to install and it's got many different guides people put out they perfect sum is very very good um what i'm going to reference is official documentation from compui on a wiki ways have it proper way how to install flux and have it some examples as well all different models this is very nice documents to reference but it can be confusing it can be last little bit so i won't show you what to download it where to download it and how it is run well let's go ahead first looking if we go on the top you'll notice we have an installation guide and everything and as you're going down below you'll notice have a different compare of the model which kind of very nice you can see which one we're going to use it we'll use the official from this side where we're going to download it by the way when we go download it is some of them will be very large size so if you have a slow internet connections you may need it put it like overnight download or other things but it is it's a very large models and you need not just one of them okay if we go down right here you'll notice it's have a different type of workflow in different models for example if you're going with official black forest lab with official model you'll notice it is have it okay sorry right here it's needed clip via unit so you have it all of this if you're going with a 
another developers, which is it is open source project, then you'll notice some of those models already merge some of those clip and via. So you need downloaded less files. Well, we'll check in a second of them. But anyway, down right here, you can see its official versions and some versions it will be separate. For example, some of the dev will require to run on a video card with more VRAM. However, some other ones can require less. And you can notice right here, it's covered F P8 will require mostly 8 gigabyte. And if it's have it 16, like FP16, it will require 16 or more um, gigabyte VRAM. So it does resource hungry as well. And you'll notice down below right here, if we're going first, this is Black Forest, who is already developing. You will need to download the clip via in your net. I'll show you a second. You also all these different models. Okay, let me right here. And you can see size 23 gigabytes. It's a huge size just for one file. Okay, so next, if you need another file, 17 gigabyte and other ones are smaller. Of course, Kaji is very nice. This is a very nice model and they're optimized and they have it a little bit um, smaller size and they combine together. Well, you may ask questions, why should download a bigger model, not smaller for smaller? Of course, bigger model have it, the more nodes inside, the pre-train on a bigger data set and work a little bit better with details. So if you want the best quality, best details, you want to go with a bigger model with 16 gigabyte model because it will perform better in a quality. It doesn't mean other ones will be uh, not good it's actually real real good so don't worry if you have it only smaller cards just download it one with the eight gigabyte requirements and that should run fine okay let's go down below you can see right here all the models they also have it installation how it's all comfy ui and uh, what i recommend for you go check my video from previous this where i run step by step how to install comfy ui and the manager on your computer, I would recommend for you to check that video. It will help you to explain how it's work and beginning. And it's also help you to install Comfy UI if you not yet have it installed. Okay, down below, you'll notice it's with this download model. Uh, personally, I almost always download models from creators. Um, and this is a black forest or from this. And you'll need downloaded at least three different files from the Black Forest. So one, you'll notice it is a clip safe sensors right here and a recommended downloaded eight. And if you want bigger, it's 16 FB 16. It requires 16 gigabyte. Of course, it's given it a better result, but it's required more and it's take longer to download well install in your memory because it's actually not just needed take file and put in your VRAM, it's need actually open and make it workable so it's need to reestablish all of this think about it's extracting inside the memory of your computer okay but right here you can download it them clip on this they're also nice because it's tell you when you're downloading clip you want to put it in your comfy comfy ui folder so right here we have our comfy ui and we're going to the models and you'll notice in a clip. So you want to put it this model inside your clip. And I have it both of them just in case I download it eight and 16 so I can compare. You also need to go inside the checkbox, uh, inside the checkpoints, put it your flags dev, which will look a little bit later where to put it. And right here you have it um, where you put in download yours. So flex one dev will show in a second where we can download this. And you, of course you will need download it and put it in a UNet. And yeah, so you have a couple place where you can put it, but in general, it's very nice because it, if you just follow where this is putting a, where to locate those and put in which folder to save it it's actually very nice but be sure you don't skip it because you will require all of those models uh, so right here is you download the clip this is a via model and you take it and notice the different little bit different because when i did first time it was a little bit confusing because him they may name like via but they don't so right here you can put it in your via folder you downloaded this Next, you need model, you need to go take and download it at Comfy UI. 
you need model. Well, here's another thing. So when you download it now, checkpoint. And if other ones, you can just very simple going and hugging face and follow all this ex instructions. When you start to download a checkpoint, it's actually bring you and says, uh, you need to download it for non-commercial version because you'll need it says yes, everything. And after you'll come and read all the license, everything. So it's won't be um, kind of, uh, it's prevent you from directly download because all other ones you can directly download in here if you're going to um, flex def and by the way I put it all links down below for you so you can go directly in this and you can go right there where it says generate output not commercial license so you're going non commercial license you accept the license and after this you can go and will link appear for you so you can go and download the file and okay right here by the way um until i open this one let me actually show because you don't need to download all of these models you don't need to download everything if you want to try it a link down below will be for you so you can go and actually try this flex one dev that model type your run prompt and just same execute it will be some limitations remember this is mostly for the just see how the model work but link down below for that model okay and right here your clip how i said before clip you have it you also um encoders you have it yours be encoder you have it your uh, model will download it and all of this the links also all be placed if you follow the document down below to download them and just put in a folder as the specify okay here's the other things after you are done downloading and it's took a little bit time it's 28 gigabyte total i think then you come down to a workflow example and this is what i like about comfy ui because you can just take it if image have it embedded workflow you can open image or you can just download a json file that is will provide right here if you click on downloaded comfy work example this is actually what will happen you'll notice it's open and you can save json file so you can use this one and this is specifically like this image we'll see in a second when it was rendering so you can do it also you can go inside the examples click on a link down here examples and you can go through all workflows and just see how and then work and workflows will be with controls flex controls with image to image we will cover some in the videos when we are going not necessarily this video because this is mostly about installations of the flux and what all components you needed for this okay also notice right here they have a different workflows and this is depend on what you're going to install it for example if we look up right there you can see this is original workflow example with smaller and down below you have it eight fp8 gigabyte you have it fp8 checkpoint example they will look a little bit different and it will preload different models for you and down if you were going down the list you'll notice it's have a different workflow which is kind of nice and i notice in some um different creators different uh shares creators developers have a different type of workflow so this is actually a nice document because you can access to many of these uh, documents here and follow this workflow again you just click download workflow and i'll show you how you can very very easy to open okay so down below you have it all these different versions and this is about all of course if you have a control net follow but we will cover this a little bit later okay your first step go and download it all of this and put it in specific folders next when you have a json file open i recommend you to upload also specifically node and, and mostly if you're going with like n4 installation so for this be sure you're going inside the manager how to install manager watch previous video you're going to custom nodes and right here just type nf4 which is open model and checkpoints loader for n4 which is help you to download all models remember that model will be all in one for your different workflow just click and install it in my case i already have pre-installed it 
So I don't need to do this, but here's a model and checkpoint. Okay, so let's go ahead and see but on our workflow so all one need to do just drag and drop and right here you can see this is a workflow and this is one of the workflow okay let's go ahead just select all of this stuff so this is one of the flux we also have this n4 flux in this case and you can see this one is actually little bit better with n4 so you have your notes notice how it's less spaghetti with this so again if you prefer to use that one and of course you have it another one notice right there we have it nodes is not here so we'll need it to upload them and missing nodes they actually work very well if you have it manager you can go always go click install missing nodes and this will find those nodes and install it. so it's easy nice way to do it but if you do in this way it will require restart so for now i won't have to restart here but nodes in installed and when i restart it will they will come there and of course if you go and with, with original you will go and download original the uh, workflow right here and this is fp16 um workflow and then you just um, process. Well, let me look closer what we have it with FP16 because it's a little bit more complex. We have it our download our diffusion model. This is at one bigger one. We also downloaded our clip and we're downloading below our VA. So this is those models that we preloaded. We have it our encoding with positive prompt, very easy going in our flex guidance. It's where conversion happening. And this is going from basic guider and sampler. It's a something similar like case sampler, what we have it in a stable diffusion. Below we have it, of course, our height width that we generated for our um, initial image, our sampler. Here, and next one basic scheduler it's how uh, and in some cases all this module if you work before in our first video where we cover case samplers uh, many of this stuff all what we look there was kind of combined just in one module and you find like with n4 and other ones and a4 they are combined in one but here a little bit spread which is not bad it just keep in mind and don't get too scared because if we're going and put it maybe you know readjust in one line it will remind you to something similar that we work with the um the stable diffusion one five and other ones and rest after this is all processing we have it via the code when i start working first when i click render um or um q they usually it's take the load and this load via this one is take very long time um the sampler took a little bit because it's actually very uh, it's large size 1024 by 1024 but afterwards it's actually produced quite a bit fast so it's just only initial load of the model in a vram it would take a lot of time in this case well if we go back to our model if you remember what we preloaded so if they're missing some of those components why you want to again have um manager so it will help a lot it this is about all i mean it's a very simple way to install it's very nicely to work with comfy ui i would highly recommend for you to go to this page download a different workflow see which one to work and download it those models that that is about all not so many secrets there next what we're going to do it's play a little bit more with the flex see and compare our result and of course we will see how well the text prompt will work here and uh, well let's compare to stable diffusion 3.5 as well later thank you for watching and we'll see you